What is that smell? Fish? And something else. Oh, more fish. Tell them to maintain watch. I don't want a surprise attack before the sun goes down. Yes, sir. What should we do until then? Pray, and hope for a miracle. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I heard they all died with the King. So you say, a damn Kunari could walk up and say he was a Grey Warden. I wouldn't know the difference. We aren't gonna turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village, providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. I hope you're right. I really do. Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. Morale's about what you'd expect. These men aren't soldiers. They're villagers defending their homes, and they're frightened. It would help if we had decent equipment. There weren't enough swords in Owen's shop, and the men's armor is nearly falling off. I don't think we're in any shape to fight. We'll do our best, of course, but, well, I have my doubts. I just hope I'm alive tomorrow morning. Oh? Ask away? Hmm. If you want weapons and such, you'd go to the blacksmith, but there isn't much left there. Ah. Uh, commerce isn't exactly our biggest concern right now, but you might want to speak to Lloyd at the tavern. I wouldn't trust him, though. Don't rightly know. We heard the Owl was sick and getting worse, but after a while we heard nothing at all. A few folks went up to the castle to see what was going on. They couldn't get in. Nobody was there, not a soul. And then those horrid creatures attacked the village. They were everywhere, people dying. It was awful. Good thing Ban Tegan was here. No. I know the Arlesa sent the knights out for a cure. You can ask Sir Perth about it. He was one of them. All right. Oh, ask away. We're the last defenders of them folks in the Chantry. The women, elderly, and the children. They're the ones we need to protect. No matter what happens, we can't let them evil things in there. If they die, the village is done. All right. We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids, so he hasn't heard from her since this whole business started. He demanded we attack the castle, break down the gate, and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy now. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. Not by nightfall, and not well enough that I'd be happy to test it in combat. If there were others, don't you think I'd ask them? We could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot, but he flat out refuses. He's a trader, a dwarf, lives near the lake. Locked himself up in his home with some of his workers, he has. Says he doesn't need any of us. We could use somebody with his fighting experience, but he won't come out. Shouldn't you be trying to reason with Owen? Oh? Ask away? 
Shouldn't you be trying to reason with Owen? Don't drink with him. That's how he sucks you in. Just my luck, our success hinges on the most foolish drunk of a smith ever to grace the Maker's lands. Go away. Curse you! Leave me in peace! You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Huh? Who is that? What do you want? I've been to enough. Certainly not. I don't know you and I don't want to. Off you go. That's so. Well, if Murdoch wants more weapons, you can give him the same answer I did. He can make them himself. I said no, and I meant it! Be gone, stranger! My accent here says you won't. Just you try it, looter! Be gone, I said! Don't you try to come in here! Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. Somebody's been drinking. You just come barging into my home. I've no money and nothing of value to take, as you can plainly see. So if you're here to beat on a sad old man, then all I ask is you get on with it. I don't have much to live for as it is. Is that so? Then talk then. My girl, Valena. is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. man. Everyone knows we aren't making it through the night. Or are you going to save us? Is that so? <laughs> Maybe it's the drink talking, but you almost sound like you believe that. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. If you look for Valena, I'll reopen the smithy and make some repairs for the militia. I can do that much. It would be better than going to my grave wondering. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing, and I didn't believe him either. You are asking a great deal, you wretched little man. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Right then. It seems I have some work to do relighting the forge, and I suppose I'll have to find some iron. Hmm. Maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. Thank you. 
place. I stuck some old equipment in there before Murdoch could get his hands on it. I don't think there's anything you'll need in there. But it's hard to say. I was in a bit of a rush when I filled it up. Yeah, let me open it for you. I have the key. Admit, it feels good to be up and doing something finally. There's no way I'm sobering up before morning, however. You mean, why are these creatures attacking the village? Obviously, something wicked corrupts the castle. My daughter used to tell me the Arlesa was up to something, hiding things from her husband. I told Velena she was imagining things. But maybe the Alessa was involved in something. Blood magic, maybe. She thought the Alessa was having an affair with some tutor she hired for the boy, Connor. I never listened much to her talk about it. Though I wish now I had. It doesn't matter anyway. She's lost to me. And I can't do anything about her warnings now. Only that she's an Orlesian girl from beyond the Western Mountains. Far too young for our Arl. That's what I say. And too proud and headstrong from the sounds of it. I'd never make such accusations. But maybe if she was using foul magic, then maybe she just did at that. Of course not. And who would I tell? And what good would it do now, eh? I just wish I paid more heed to my girl. Like what? Right. I haven't got much, obviously, but I'll do whatever I can for you. <laughs> 